New developments now on the mass shooting in South Carolina. New video on the night team shows a suspect, 21-year-old Dylan Ralph, in a jumpsuit and shackles being taken back to South Carolina. Ralph is accused of killing nine people last night at a church in Charleston. He was captured today in North Carolina during a traffic stop after a tipster recognized his car and she says his bowl haircut. Tonight, we have also learned that Ralph had been given a gun for his 21st birthday just two months ago, but it's not known if it's the weapon he used allegedly in the shooting. The victims who had been at a Bible study ranged in age from 26 to 87 among those killed, a librarian, a speech therapist, a state senator who was also a minister at the church, and another reverend. New on the night team, yet another mass shooting has the president of the United States once again talking about the need for more gun control laws. And the debate is reignited. The night team's Brian Crandall is live in Providence now with local reaction. Brian. Well, Patrice, there seems to be agreement that something in this country needs to change, but as you can imagine, significant disagreement on just how that happens. And you just need to look at the State House here in Rhode Island tonight for an example of that. A white suspect opens fire in a historic black church in South Carolina. Nine dead. The violence hits a nerve close to home. It breaks my heart. Reverend Matthew Kai of the Westside Tabernacle Baptist Church in Providence and the Rhode Island Ministers Alliance says clergy from all faiths need to help in the healing. America is at war with itself. We are truly at war with ourselves, especially the racial war. Another area where Americans do battle, especially after mass shootings like this one, is on gun control. Some point out the Charleston newspaper, the headline with a gun ad right above it. Here at the Rhode Island State House, both sides of the debate argue over proposals to tighten gun restrictions on domestic violence offenders. We should start here by saying, you know, we do have to tighten the laws. This is too much. 80, 86 people a day die in this country from guns. It's ridiculous. But gun rights advocates argue most proposals, like the ones here, go too far. It takes an individual to actually pick up the firearm and do harm. What we're really looking at is the human nature of wanting to hurt someone else. That's what we need to control. That's what we need to address, not the guns themselves. That side of the argument had one state senator leaving the room, Harold Metz, who says he goes to Bible study on Wednesday nights, like the victims in South Carolina. It was just too much for me today. It was a, just a heavy burden knowing what's taking pla what took place yesterday and then what's taking place across the country with all this violence. After the school massacre in Newtown, Connecticut back in 2012, Congress did not pass new gun laws, but some states have. Live in Providence, Brian Crandall, NBC 10 News 19.